You are about to view a support guide from ClearCom discussing our hybrid network model. Let's start with the definition. We define hybrid as a mixture, and network is defined as an arrangement of interconnections. Therefore, a hybrid network is a mixture of technologies in a single communications network. Moving forward, we will appreciate why ClearCom has developed a set of technologies into building blocks that form a hybrid network. We will be describing products in this guide. In the course of reviewing this guide, we will not be going into the details of these products, their features, or their functions. If you need, want, or require more product information, please look to our support section online. We will be describing these components as they make up a system we call the hybrid network. Let's look at how the hybrid network fills the demands for today's communication needs. Most modern productions require layered communication systems. ClearCom's Eclipse Digital Matrix forms the backbone of the hybrid network. Today's interactions must be universal. The Eclipse system, with the addition of IP technology, makes global intercom access possible. We see the increased need for user portability when communicating. Answering this need is the ClearCom Cellcom FreeSpeak wireless product, which rounds out the hybrid network. In review, the hybrid network integrates these three technologies into a single digital communications platform. In the next few minutes, we will discuss what these technologies comprise and their capability. The ClearCom Eclipse matrix includes utilization of our user stations called key panels and the ability to interface to other intercom systems and a variety of common communication elements that are used in production. Functionally, the Eclipse capabilities support universal standards for communication workflow in all production environments. Our IP connectivity technology incorporates real-time, present-based communications. In short, the IP solution mimics the feel and use of our Eclipse matrix-based technology. The user experiences similar functionality and common workflow activity. The need for intercom user mobility is growing, and the ClearCom wireless building block includes integration within the Eclipse matrices. Once again, as with the Eclipse matrix, the wireless capabilities support similar workflow production standards with flexibility and the benefit of no wires. So let us begin. We have set ourselves three goals. We will be discussing Eclipse matrix technology, IP communications, and finally, wireless communications. We are going to discuss an intercom matrix. Intercom matrices are full summing and non-blocking. This differs greatly to an audio router that simply makes an input to output route. The complexity in production intercom survives through the use of this audio matrix. There are four basic circuit cards to matrix intercom incorporated into a system frame. These are the CPU or central processor card, the so-called master control, power supplies, what we call port cards, which facilitate all external I.O. connections plus data, and lastly, system expansion through the use of fiber cards. In speaking of the CPU, it first and foremost coordinates all data between all cards within the frame. Like we said, it is the master control of the system. Secondly, it provides an IP or serial connection to a host PC for control, monitoring, or system upgrade. The CPU can store up to four complete system setups in memory. An additional CPU can be fitted for redundancy if needed. Programming a system requires the ECS software. Eclipse card frame matrices have capacity for two power supply units. An Eclipse frame need be powered by only one supply. Two supplies are fitted for automatic and glitch-free redundancy. The power supply units have other monitoring and alarm features. Here is a flow diagram of an analog port circuit card. If you look to the left, you can see there are three elements to a port. Data, audio input, and an audio output. This is typically referred to in intercom as a four-wire port. With 16 analog ports on this card, there are 256 possible cross points to consider. A port could be used for connecting various user interfaces, such as key panels, as well as external devices. 
A fiber interface card is essential in discussing a network. It is used between Eclipse matrices to connect multiple frames or systems together to transfer all audio and data. It comprises a fiber interface circuit card in each frame intended to be joined and uses duplex single mode optical fiber cable capable of very long distances to create a dual redundant ring. When we look at a very big view of what is possible with matrix intercom, we can quickly realize the expanded capabilities. Moving quickly around the matrix starting in the upper left and moving clockwise, we see user control panels, analog telephone, and mobile radio interfaces. Audio for mix minus and program feeds, which could also feed dressing rooms with paging. Because matrix systems include GPIOs, we can fire relays for queue systems or start automation or in more sophisticated systems we can be controlled by third-party automation. Four-wire camera interfaces are common TV intercom lines as well as queuing talent with program and direction. And finally we have the standard party line equipment and wireless element. Here is an example of a decentralized matrix solution where we might have two systems maybe in the same building and we want full intelligent linking. Once again using the fiber interface this is possible. This concludes a look at some of the standard components and features of the TDM matrix. You may even want to consider an older term in developing your understanding of this system, and that is as a circuit switch system. Simplistically, this describes a pre-assigned circuit for a communication path that is electronically switched. As an example, when I press a key on my panel to talk to the director, my panel audio talk circuit is switched to that of the listen circuit of the director. This differs in IP packet switch networks, which we will discuss right now. Many were attracted in the early introduction of IP communications because it could provide many services, such as teleconferencing, video conferencing, along with sending files to one another while in sessions. The sessions were secure and one only needed an internet connection anywhere. The limitations included all participants had to be in one place on one side of the conference. We realize two challenges exist with voice over IP for production intercom. Although today advances in technologies have improved, it still does not match up to the TDM matrix. There are no assurances that data will not be lost as voice over IP systems are essentially without quality of service. In defense, managed networks greatly improve statistics. What was most surprising is that we found voice over IP lacked conferencing capability to pull several members into a spontaneous full duplex conference, then drop that conference in a way that is routine production intercom. As a response, we went to work and developed a novel approach to the voice over IP template. The result is IV Core. IV standing for instant voice, and we nicknamed it intercom over IP. What makes IV Core distinct is the way we route audio rather than encode, decode, and mix information at the server. Only the audio packets that need to be routed are sent directly to the client device, which could be a PC laptop. All mixing is done at the client side. This translates to very low latency routing through the server, and all data remains intact and the audio is maintained even when using challenging connections like the internet. Now that we have a better understanding of IV Core, let me show you how we applied it to a component of the hybrid network. It is called Concert. Concert is our IP voice conferencing software. While running on standard PCs and IT networks, the technology offers some benefits such as low latency and outstanding voice quality. The sessions are encrypted and secure and utilize very low bandwidth on the network. Concert offers a simple to use connection to groups, conferences and a large number of members that mimics much of matrix production intercom functionality. So what is Concert? It is based on a server client structure. The server hosts the routing engine and maintains the database of users. The users, which are PCs, access the server via LAN or WAN running Concert client software. The software features drag and drop operation to initiate communications. Presence awareness, multi-conference, and text messaging is included. Let's look a little closer. This would be the main screen a client would see when opening the software. With presence awareness, members would populate the contacts area as they came online and or return from various away notices. A user could initiate a point-to-point, -point, that's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, or start a new or join an established conference. 
The most powerful feature in this package is the addition of intercom mode. Concert includes a virtual user key panel. This allows users who are accustomed to well-known intercom hardware the benefits of remote connectivity. One simply selects intercom mode from the drop-down menu. The concert client screen will remain on the desktop and the virtual panel will be displayed. Both are scalable. Concert in a network works like this. On the right you see a building, maybe a broadcast center, and it uses a server with Concert administration software installed. This software includes the database of users. At the main location we have many users networked on the LAN. Each user has Concert client software on their PC. They communicate as planned or needed. Users in remote locations run Concert client software as well and connect via LAN or WAN depending on their location. They may be on a different floor in the same building. The system functions as a non-blocking, full-summing communications platform just like the Eclipse matrix. We'll see how this ties together in just a moment. Concert is applicable and doable with multiple server locations. You see two buildings connected using their wide area network server to server. Both servers operate the Concert software and they share the database. Users install Concert client software on PCs and are connected locally via their building LAN and remotely through the corporate WAN. As with the single server model, communications is seamless. But what if we want to merge the Eclipse wired users with these virtual users? With the introduction of the IVC32 IP circuit card for Eclipse, we have 32 powerful low latency IP connections to and from Eclipse elements and to and from ClearCom IP user components. Concert soft panel users can connect directly to the Eclipse matrix. The ClearCom IP based V series hardware control key panels also connect directly to the matrix. This now makes it possible to remote a hardware panel via IP to anywhere in the world. Four IVC32 cards can be situated into one Eclipse frame. Here is a system flow of integrating the IP elements to the Eclipse matrix system. We show our main facility communication system on the upper left. We have installed the IVC32 card in the Eclipse frame. We have our corporate LAN or WAN and the IVC32 is connected and programmed for communications to and from the various elements. To this, on the remote side, we can add hardware IP V-series users, concert servers in different locations, and soft panel users. We can have combinations of hardware and software users in the same remote location. This completes the section for IP communications. We're almost at the point of finalizing the hybrid network. The wireless intercom is the last building block to integrate, and we will start by discussing the product detail. The wireless intercom is known as Cellcom in the USA and FreeSpeak in other countries. It is based on DECT technology in the 1.8 to 1.9 GHz RF spectrum. For use in the hybrid network, ClearCom has developed the Integra EQ circuit card. This card installs in the slot of the Eclipse frame and provides communications between wireless users and any number of ports in the matrix including the IP elements. The system consists of three components the Integra EQ card, portable users, which are belt packs, and antennas. Pictorially, we see the Integra EQ card installed within the Eclipse frame, and up to eight antennas are directly attached to the backplane of the card. The antenna cable is Category 5. One card typically supports 35 plus wireless users on headsets. Up to four cards can be fitted into one Eclipse frame to accommodate large numbers of wireless users. Functionally, matrix users can talk full duplex to wireless users with signaling and vice versa. This shows the completed hybrid network with all building blocks in place for a very comprehensive intercom system. We see the IP elements at the top of the diagram, the wireless intercom users at the right, and the hardware intercom users on the left. The backbone of the system is the Eclipse matrix, offered exclusively by ClearCom. We thank you for reviewing this presentation. We hope you have found this useful for your application. Detailed information is available by visiting us online or calling ClearCom to talk with a regional support person. For more information on these products, visit us at www.clearcom.com. 
Here you can find data sheets and user manuals. You can also visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and our ClearCom blog.